Let's take a look at how easy it is to turn our small town into a thriving empire while playing Age of Empires 4 with an Xbox controller. The first thing we're going to want to do is root out any idle villagers and set them to work. If you look down to the bottom of the screen, you can see the D-pad quick selection options. At the top, with D-pad up, we can find our idle villagers. By tapping up on the D-pad, it will cycle through all of our idle villagers. And by holding up, we can select all of them at once. Let's set them to work for now. We've added lots of automation features to make managing your empire far easier. At the top of the screen where we see our resources, we can also see to the right the villager priority system distribution. We can open this with left trigger and right stick together to see all of our villager priority system presets. These presets automatically tell our villagers what to gather when they're created and manage our economy for us. All we have to do is tell it which preset we want to use. Let's use the economic preset. This is a focus of food with a little bit of wood and a little bit of gold. I'll select this now to engage that and we can see that next to our resource panel the distribution has updated. If we want to tweak this at all, we can also press right on the D-pad to enter a custom preset. Here we can tweak the amount of food, gold, wood or stone. So let's add a little bit more wood by tapping A a couple times to increase the amount of wood gathered. Our villagers will now automatically gather the resources in the quantity that we have decided. But that's not all. If we select our town center, we're going to want to train a lot more villagers. But it's hard to remember to keep training villagers all the time. So we can automate that too. If we open the radial here, we can see at the bottom there is the auto train villagers toggle. This is currently off, but if we engage it, our villagers will automatically be trained from this town center until we turn it off at a later time. If you look down to the bottom left, you can also see that if you hold X, you can turn on or off the auto train villager toggle. With our villagers automatically being created and automatically assigned, that leaves us to focus on empire building. Now, with more villagers coming out, we're going to need to provide more housing. So let's build some houses next. I'm going to select one of these villagers from the wood line and I'm going to tell them to build some houses. I'll open up the build radial with the right trigger once again. And here we can see all of our building options. At the very top, there is house. We can select the house from here and place it down in the world for our villager to build. A villager won't be picked up by the villager priority system again until they've finished construction. But we're not done yet. Let's add some more houses. Once again, if we look down to the bottom left, we can see that house is actually a quick option. So let's hold X to bring up the house blueprint once more. And this time, let's build more houses. One just isn't enough. If we hold left trigger, we can build multiple buildings in one go. By holding left trigger and tapping A multiple times, the villager will build not one, but four houses, or however many times you tap A. And once completed, they'll get straight back to work. That concludes this little video, but with these tips and tricks, you'll be building massive thriving empires in no time.